Smoke Damage Removal Services After a Bushfire If you recently had a bushfire in your area, then you're probably still feeling the effects of it. Not only is there smoke damage to contend with, but also ash and soot that has settled into your carpets and furniture. This blog post will outline how to clean up after a fire in order to restore comfort back into your home. Cleaning up your home after a bushfire. If your house is problematic, it should be ventilated and washed. This helps to remove the toxic smoke residue from your home. It also makes it safe and comfortable for you and your family to return home. When it comes to cleaning your home after a bushfire, you can use bleach and washing powder. This is the best way to remove smoke damage from your property. Cooking utensils can be washed with detergent and hot water. If you have fire or smoke damage, it's important to clean up your home as soon as possible. The best way to clean up your home after a bushfire is to throw out anything that has signs of soot, smoke, or fire extinguisher dust. If you don't, the risk of a mold infestation is high. Don't put contaminated items in your home. Make sure you take all necessary precautions when cleaning up after a bushfire, like wearing gloves and masks, wearing a face mask, and keeping your pets away from the area. Dangerous chemicals can be ingested or absorbed through your skin if you keep contaminated items. These materials need to be cleaned up immediately by a professional to prevent any health risks. The best way to clean up your home after a bushfire is by calling a specialist mattress repairer. They can help you sort out the smoke damage and make your house safe to live in again. Ash is unlikely to cause short or long-term health effects. It's important to clean up your home after a bushfire and remove any signs of ash and smoke damage if you have been affected by a bushfire. It is important to seek medical advice. The smoke from the fire has high levels of particulates and toxic gases, which can cause a range of health problems, including respiratory distress, washing affected clothing after a bushfire. After a bushfire, it's important to take care of the clothes. Washing affected clothing after a bushfire is crucial for ensuring that your clothes are ready for wear again. Normal laundry and sunlight can help to remove the smoke smell from your clothing, wets and bushfire smoke. Smoke contains gases, most notably C. Otwo and company. Debris from the bushfire leaves a lot of particulate matter, which can cause a lot of damage to your home. Smoke damage is never easy to clean up, but we can help with our smoke removal services. Bushfire smoke contains around five different types of particulate matter. The most concerning PM is PM10, or particulate matter 10, which are particles smaller than 10 micrometers. Every bushfire is different, but often it can be described as a smoky haze that is full of contaminants. These can impact almost every bodily system, our lungs included. An average bushfire produces about 4,000 liters of smoke every minute. This is mainly composed of soot and particulate matter with a few other trace elements. If you're looking for a company that can help with smoke damage removal, it's important to know what's in bushfire smoke. The particles of smoke are made of a number of different chemicals, including ash. Long-term effects The long-term effects of bushfires are a risk of several cancers and chronic health conditions from air pollution. This includes asthma, lung cancer, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. 5. Long-term effects 4.2 million premature deaths are attributed to air pollution caused by bushfires in Australia and the US, according to a study published in the journal Environmental Research. The long-term effects of smoke damage are unknown. We don't know what prolonged exposure could mean, but we can look at other populations. This is not a definitive answer, and we may never know what the long-term effects could be. What are the long-term effects of smoke damage? The short answer is that it depends. The smoke itself doesn't present any problems, but these China, there's little concern for long-term effects from smoke damage. Bushfires are very dangerous to humans, animals, and vegetation. It can destroy homes, businesses, or even trees. There's uncertainty about the long-term health effects of bushfires. Hazardous materials after a bushfire. After a bushfire, hazardous materials are present. Smoke damage removal services can assist with the removal of these harmful materials for your and your family's safety. The most common hazardous material during a bushfire is dust. The smoke from the fire can be quite thick and cause significant damage to your property. So it's important to remove the dust as soon as possible. If you're planning on cleaning up after a bushfire, there are some hazardous materials that may be present. Hazardous materials include asbestos, LPG gas cylinders, medication, garden chemicals, farm chemicals, and other general chemicals. If you have a septic tank, it may have been weakened by the fire, so do not drive or walk over it. If your property is exposed to smoke or hazardous materials, then you should call a specialist like us to remove it. Ash is a hazardous material that needs to be removed to prevent potential injury. It can cause health problems and even death if inhaled. After a bushfire, the smoke can be toxic and cause health problems. Hazardous materials like ash may also be present. There are companies that can remove ash and hazardous materials from your property. Ash is a byproduct of fire and can be found in the most common type of building material 
asbestos. They are also treated wood products that have asbestos. It's unsafe to spread ash around your property or disturb the dust when walking around. It is important that you clean the area and remove any hazardous materials that may be present.